I have a brother who had many periods of um, inpatient treatment at St Thomas's Hospital and the NHS kept him alive until he was 95. I'm getting on for 81. I have had 23 hospital admissions in my time, 10 of those for major surgery, including two for cancer. The National Health Service is the most important institution we've ever had in this country. It's an organisation that has marked us out or as a truly civilised society. I grew up in the East End of London, in Hackney, in the 1930s, and I do remember what it was like before we had the NHS. At that time, the NHS wasn't even a twinkle in anybody's eye. And every healthcare matter was an issue that involved money. You had to think that before, and I remember my parents discussing this sometimes, have we got the two and six, half a crown, that we need to go and visit the GP? We've worked for it and paid for it all our lives. It's not theirs to sell, actually. The NHS is our NHS. What's happening now is nothing short of an absolutely dire emergency. There is a bill going through Parliament called the Health and Social Care Bill. And what the bill means is the privatisation of the National Health Service. If they tell you otherwise, and they do frequently, that is simply a lie. And that is why I will be here on Sunday, October the 9th at 1 o'clock on Westminster Bridge with thousands of other people here and what we want to do is to block the bill. I hope to be surrounded by so many thousands of people that I won't be able to move from here until somebody comes along and has to hold me up. Thank you.